Hello, I'm Matt Kramer, and we have Oz Clark, and Kevin Zrindy, and Chardonnay. Today, Chardonnay is a commodity. People go into a bar, and they'll say, I'd like a glass of Chardonnay. This makes, in my opinion, and Oz and Kevin may disagree, I believe that Chardonnay is now the most difficult wine in the world to buy. You don't know what you're getting. It's a commodity. Many of the Chardonnays of the world, in my opinion, are not really that good. They sell on name and on price and on familiarity. I'll have a glass of Chardonnay. What do you think, Oz? Well, uh, I think it's one of the most abused uh, grape varieties in the world. And the, the problem is, probably, um, that when uh, the Californians, followed by the Australians, thought, we've been to France, they make wonderful wine, we want to do it too. And that's the 60s and 70s we're talking about. And they brought back the grape varieties from France, since they couldn't bring the soil back, and planted them in Napa Valley or in Barossa Valley in Australia, and started making these wonderful wines, which they were wonderful wines, called Chardonnay. They were wildly successful. And I'm afraid the more successful they got, the more critical acclaim they got, the more the big liquor baron kind of wineries, both in Australia and in California, thought, that looks like the cash cow. So that word Chardonnay seems to make me nice, round, soft, golden, white wine. We'll make a lot of that. I tell you what, we'll make a million gallons. I tell you what, we'll make 10 million. Why don't we make 50 million gallons? And the price is too high. We can put it down to $3, $4, two buck chuck, $2. And it's been one of those things that nobody now seems to realize that Chardonnay is one of the greatest white, white wine grapes in the world. Um, it does make beautiful wines in well-known places like Chablis uh, and Mercer. People often don't know. They say, do you like Chardonnay? No. Do you like Chablis? I like Chablis. But Chablis is 100% Chardonnay. I didn't know that. People actually don't know anymore. So we're a little bit at fault uh, in bringing people up to, to where it is, uh, but I do caution people. I mean this seriously, in a, in a bar and in a restaurant, I go and I check to see what wines they have, what grapes they are, because they, they'll come out and say, we have Chardonnay, we have Sauvignon Blanc, we got Merlot, we got Cabernet. Whose is it? Where is it from? That's How what I need. <laughs> well, you know, is it is it of decent quality? And sometimes I'll go with the, the brand name uh, more than, uh, I'm not going to experiment. This is the other thing. I never experiment with wine in restaurants. It's not, I'm in the restaurant business. I won't do it. I want to go. Expensive. It, it, it's, it's an expensive experimentation. Is so. They, isn't it true that with Chardonnay, you are let, when you're going to a bar or, 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 a, or a pub, it's one of those wine varieties that you are least likely to recognize the name on the label because so many people have made up completely nonsensical brand names. That, uh, and they could all be made in a massive factory in, in the Central Valley of California with a hundred different labels coming off and all the time. And that's the way it is. Yeah, yeah that's what, and, and it's the same in Australia. Big company. To Chardonnay. To Chardonnay. To Chardonnay. And to good luck in finding a good one. <laughs>